I am Jasmine Masters, and I have something to say. RuPaul's Drag Race had fucked up drag. Did you see that article from Instinct Magazine? Oh, the fracking? No, no, not that. Oh. <laughs> RuPaul is a weirdo. Says the girl with <laughs> bobby pins in her hair. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Happy Black Legends. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and on my channel. So I had no plans to do this video until yesterday when I saw that RuPaul had deactivated his Twitter and his Instagram. And then some receipts, Rue receipts, popped up. And then I just started thinking about all of the weird little things that this man's done. And then I was reminded of a conversation I had with my baby brother uh, like a month ago. I was staying over and he asked me, he wanted the queer perspective, but he asked me, do you think that RuPaul is good or bad for the queer community? And here's what I had to say, and honestly, here is my whole stance with RuPaul in general. Yes, RuPaul has done so much for the queer community. He's created so many voices. He's created so many careers. He's given drag and gave people sort of a space in mainstream television. And for that, yes, that is an amazing thing that he's done for the queer community. However, drag has is changing. The queer community has changed. Um, and I feel like Rue is just really out of touch. I feel like he's very much so out of touch. And I think he says things without realizing like how out of touch he is. Like he's also rich bitch, you know what I mean? So sometimes he does little things or says little things and it's like, that's not, no, no. And I also think that it is slightly harmful to have one person be the authority on what drag can or can't be. Like, that's really not fair to drag. And that's not fair for gay people. And that's, you know, because what it does is straight people look at, look, everyone looks to Rue. Not just straight people, people look to Rue for Rue's opinion on what drag should be. Drag, by definition, is just a simple... It's playing with the idea of gender. It's playing with the gender roles. It's playing with gender identity. That's all it is, period. It's So by definition, anyone can do drag. But because Rue has sort of pioneered or paved the way, if you will, for the drag community, people look to him for the sole answer on all drag. And I just think that's really unfair and that's a disservice to everyone, really, because drag is gonna be different from person to person. So that's my overall opinion on RuPaul. So I'm not gonna be, I'm just gonna be discussing three ideas. The first idea is Ru and his fracking. The second idea is Ru's relationship with the transgender community. And the third idea is Ru's consistent colorism. Dare I say internalized racism, honestly. Dare I say it. But yeah, so first of all, let's get with fracking. So Rue made a statement, I believe it was, sorry, I was doing my hair and there was a hair on my lip, that's so gross. Um, so Rue made a statement, I believe it was on a podcast, it was with the journalist, and she was talking about his property, and this is kind of, this is what I mean when I say he's rich bitch and out of touch. So she asks him like, oh Rue, I hear that you have 60 acres in Wyoming, and then he goes, 60,000 acres, honey, or something like that. Like, I'll put the quote here, but I was like, Rue, shut the fuck up. Like, we get it, we get it, shut up. And she asked, she was asking him about upkeep um, with all of that land, because that is a large amount of land, and he essentially admitted to fracking. Now, honestly, from reading 
like how he described his, it, I would not have figured out that that was fracking personally. Um, and that's because I'm not into science. I'm not, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, but essentially I'm going to try to paraphrase it. Essentially it's digging into the earth, into the ground, um, to like find little holes and pockets of like gas and oil and like there's a shale or a shall or something. I don't know. Everything I need to know about fracking I learned from Bojack Horseman. So that's that on that. But what you need to know about fracking is it's extremely controversial because of the fact that it's terrible for the environment. And it can cause tons of harm to um, areas, um, surrounding areas. And I believe it also releases like a ton of toxins into the air. It's just really bad for the environment. And I mean, we're in a global crisis. I think scientists have determined that by 2038, a lot of our crops are going to dry up and we're pretty much doomed. So um, a lot of people were really upset with Rue for this because like I said, it is bad for the environment. And one thing I will say is Rue doesn't tend to address things. I don't think he ever addressed the fracking. And when he does address things, like nine out of 10 times, his whole mantra is don't take it so seriously, like just relax, like it's not that serious. Without sort of taking any responsibility or looking at himself, looking within, you know? He, it's very rare that he does that. You both call me losers, and I don't see you out there walking children in nature. I never call you You're not a loser. No. That's why you're here today. Don't, you forgot who you I were. I know I'm here today, but we I'm just telling y'all how you it is. Forgot you forgot who you are. Judged. You forgot, Tammy. You forgot, forgot you're what? fabulous. Don't blame me for that. That's your f***ing responsibility. Use your mouth. So next, let's talk about Rue's relationship with the transgender community. So... There's been... <laughs> there's been a few incidents where I believe Rue was extremely ignorant, dare I say transphobic towards trans people. Um, for starters, we'll start off with something a little bit more light. So Rue tweeted out um, sort of a message to the trans community and he was essentially saying like, I support you guys and whatnot. And he posted a flag, not the trans flag, a train flag? For the trans community like he it's almost like he made a typo when typing trans flag and then just kept the trans flag thing like that's just a stupid mistake right um but it, that was a little funny and I felt like mentioning it because I just thought it's it shows Rue being out of touch out of like the loop and I just think that's another issue like I said that's one of my main issues with Rue is that I think he's really out of touch in many situations and this just happens to be one of them so more serious things that he's done though is his consistent use of transphobic slurs like consistently and he defends his use of them and that's really kind of gross now I this is what I meant to earlier when I said we shouldn't just give one person the authority to say what is or isn't drag because Rue has made numerous comments on who can and can't do drag and even referring to transgender people not being able to do drag and it's kind of like I just feel like that's really that's such an ignorant and limited view of what drag can be drag is a play on gender it is playing with the idea of gender roles anyone can do that if a transgender person feels comfortable to do drag whatever that means to them they should be allowed to do it there's many different ways to be a drag performer. I just think that's really weird that he's consistently tried to degrade and downplay transgender people, especially because there have been trans performers on his show. I do think he apologized eventually for his statement on transgender people not being able to do drag. Now lastly, let's discuss Rue's colorism and Rue's racism, but also the racism within the show and the fandom. The only like sh incident on the show that I can speak of that made me feel uncomfortable as a black woman was Widow Von Du's exit and that whole 
everything that they said to her. So basically the theme for season 12 was America and was to vote and they kept pressing voting. And so as the show, as the season went on, they had a challenge, it was a debate challenge. And um, Widow's character, I mean, in my opinion, she played the most accurate politician. It was a debate, so they were debating and they were joking and whatnot. And the judges called her aggressive. That made me feel so uncomfortable. I just felt like you're calling a big black person aggressive, really? A dark-skinned black person aggressive? And Rue didn't, like, no one caught on to how weird or uncomfortable that is? Like, do I do I have to explain why that is? I just felt really uncomfortable, uncomfortable about that whole situation. Also, I just want to give Widow a shout out for her motherfucking Stars and Stripes costume. Literally so amazing. She totally took a spin on it and I love the cultural ties to the Black Panthers. I really appreciated that. Now let's talk about Rue himself. Rue. Okay, so the images I showed in the beginning of Rue in those Confederate dresses, one of them apparently was from a movie. I believe the movie is called Wong Fu. Personally, I feel like that doesn't make that any better. I feel like that's still really gross. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't think that that makes it any better, like at all. I think that that's still really disgusting. And if I, like as a black person, like if a director wanted me to wear a Confederate flag, I just simply would say no, like period. I would not be afraid to just say no. Like, and Rue, I mean, I don't know what to, at the time that that movie came out, but Rue's a superstar. So I feel like he definitely could have put his foot down. But again, Rue's whole mantra, his whole stance on life is to not take things seriously. So, and then like the Instagram image with the caption, like, the South will rise again. What are you... Rue, you're black. Like, what are you doing? Like, Rue. Rue boo. No. Um, also, Rue has done blackface and Rue has worked with people and offended people who have done blackface. So, that's uncomfortable. For me, the most racist thing I think Rue has done has to do with his music video, Looking Good, Feeling Gorgeous. But I'm just gonna roll some clips from this video and then I'm gonna break it down for you, like what the issue here is. So, pay attention. I wanna be pretty. The kids used to call me names on God. They call me ugly, call me names. You know what? Y'all give me this makeover, I deserve it. You know why? Cause I'm pretty on the inside. I'm pretty on the inside. I won't be. I won't be pretty on the outside too. <laughs> Shut that goddamn dog. I wanna kill everyone in pussy. I want my nose to look like a Jackson. I want my lips to be thin. I want you to lighten my skin. I want you to suck all the fat out of my hips. Give me what I need so I can look pretty. They gonna look at me look like I'm a Beyonce. Looking good, feeling gorgeous. That's what I'm gonna be. I'm ready for my makeup. So essentially, we have Rue darkening his skin, sitting with a cup of KFC, talking about wanting thin lips, lighter skin. There's so many issues here. First of all, the blatant fat phobia, but also the blatant racism, specifically towards the idea of dark-skinned women being ghetto and unappealing and and just loud and gross and nasty. And that makes me feel so uncomfortable. And then Rue really emerges as, you know, this skinny, skinty, you know, snatch-waisted, light-skinned, blonde-haired Amazon. And 
he wins approval from the white doctor and it's just it's so uncomfortable and what's even worse are the amount of gay people defending his actions it's like that's not okay, boo-boo, and if someone portrayed gay people in a stereotypical way, I'm 90% sure you'd have a huge fucking issue with it, you know? And I don't know. I just think that video is so gross and... Ugh. I will say this overall, my final thoughts. <laughs> I like watching RuPaul's Drag Race and I like watching RuPaul clips, not for RuPaul, but for the queens because they're hilarious, um, they've got charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, and I think that they're just stunning. And they've, I do, f I love costume, I love theater, so I do enjoy watching drag performances and I think it's an art and a skill that they have and I think it's amazing. So I do enjoy that. But yeah, I think RuPaul is not a menace, but I think he's kind of ignorant and I think maybe it's time for other drag leaders to step up and show people what drag can be, not just relying on one person. I also think that it is weird that he just all of a sudden deactivated his Instagram and Twitter. I don't know the reasons people were saying that the photos that I've shown you, the ones of him in blackface and the two with the confederate flag dresses, those are the reasons why he deactivated. Whether or not that's true, it's that's alleged, you know, we have no idea. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have so much more content coming your guys' way. If you like this video, I'm working on another video that I am 90% sure you will also like, so don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, always feel free to check out my description box. I have affiliate links down there, I have uh, mental health resources, and I usually have links to some research that correlates to the video. But alright, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Alrighty y'all, bye! <laughs>